This is the hour of love's empowerment when love has been determined to be faded, to be poured out over all flesh, absolutely. For our Lord is our all and all, and all is the biggest little word of unity that he ever allowed to evolve. All nations immediately become his when his message of Malachi is given unto the nations as it is foretold uh, in Revelation 10.7 when the mystery of God finally ends. So it's time, light your candle and go ape over love yourself so that we can get proper understandings of what the Lord's word has always been truthfully saying to us, that he's loved us ever so much deeply, much more deeper than any of us have ever imagined, because his ocean of his endless adoration for us is the blue sapphire sea of the forgetfulness of his forgiveness. Well, that's almost a tongue twister. So come along on vacation with me while I adjust my little camera here. And uh, I welcome you to my bed. I'm sitting on top of my bed, and I make all my videos on top of my bed. If I asked anybody for one dollar for a um, uh, contribution to this ministry, uh, they would accuse me of being a pervert sitting on his bed. <laughs> They'll twist it. Woe to those saying good is evil and evil is good. I have one uh, random beast kind of a guy. He's been crawling around in the comments section accusing me of being the most wicked vile man that has ever lived because I am the Elijah task uh, bringer of this age Matthew 17 11 so Christ is not a liar surely Elijah would come forth first the latter day Daniel am I Daniel 12 13 who has embraced that destiny I have been well studied I've written 200 books google my name Daniel F. Owsley images, and then you see my books. And then after writing 200 books, because the Lord's breath blew upon me, and I saw the drapes fluttering in the wind, but when I woke up, I realized it was always blinds there instead. And the window was closed, it was never open. But the Lord has his way in the storm of all revelation. So be not apostate no longer. Concerning prophecy, it must be inspected most carefully and all that's good embrace. Keep what's good, take leave what's bad. But mom had even said that we have no ground to stand upon unless we stand upon um, the gospel of love uh, and all the rest of the prophets and all revelation coming to us from the Lord. And so in this hour, it's time to get along with that program. And only if we can, then the great restoration foretold for the latter days would come. Israel has inherited all mankind. They have become Chrislam, Isaiah 62, to their new name. And so, therefore, it's the time for the latter day reign of the understanding of love. For there truly has been always God's people destroyed for their lack of knowledge and over love especially, for there has been so little. Because upon this latter day mountain, uh, the uh, truth shall now ha be unveiled so that people can understand any conditions upon divine love, any strings attached, divine love instantly flees away as by smoke. And so is it true, the world has been blind. Millions, billions of people see themselves as loving people, but there is no love in them. For love is not even love unless it's freely given away for no other reason except for love. Even if there's nothing to our advantage, it must be released. Cast your bread upon the water and it'll return to you. The seek ye the first, the kingdom of love and all will be added unto you. I am the messenger of the north, Isaiah 41, if Canada counts. So it's time, praise the Lord, for spiritual reign. Uh, and it was long ago predestined that our living cloud of holiness would also be acting as a mist of resplendent glory, uh, most radiant and glorious, uh, and uh, that 
mist would shine with the glistening of uh, rainbows as he drops like the sweetest dew of heaven for the refreshment of all of his faithful few, his beloved, through his most precious waters. For little by little, the Lord's brightest light of love uh, became like a real big furnace as the Lord extended it. And it became like wood that was cast uh, upon uh, a big furnace. Uh, and it became his word like a mighty wind blowing from all sides to fan the flames and consume all that his word came in contact. And since his law and his law of love has always been written on the hearts of mankind, uh, the, we've never had any excuse for not knowing and loving him as the highest good of all creation. For in our Lord's magnificence, uh, he is overflowing in his riches, unspeakable in his mysteries, faithful in his promises, true to his words, and most perfect in his works, and his most perfect love that is perfectly loving. Think not that uh, a dog has greater love than God who made it. Uh, everyone knows dogs are unconditional love for us, and I have unconditional love for my kids. Does that mean I have greater love? The whole world has a false God, a conditional love that has never existed. And it was foretold that in the latter days that the veil would be over and the mystery would be removed and finished. Revelation 10, 7, for the seven trumpet, the perfect trumpet sounded. Uh, and when it did, all nations immediately became the Lord's. And therefore know that the illumination of his love's radiance of the eons will never help the faithful to see uh, uh, fail to see his most hallowed light going before him and themselves. For he is our head, our exemplar, and our supreme king, because that Lord of earth shines forth his unconditional love to all people of his most loving uh, brightness. And so it's time to, for everyone to realize that he alone has been the living lamp of the earth, showing everyone who loves him that he is everything imaginable unto them. For the consecrated past of his amazing road of miracles allows them to see what they have been and what they are and what they will become. And it, that'll gear them up to fear what they could become if they don't reach out towards his everlasting love and the magnificent light thereof so that of their own free will, that they could find their wills, their own wills, becoming inflamed with unselfish love, considering the, the lives of others even before us, uh, so that we can be bent according to his most perfect will of love, as we forever exalt his great generosity unto us. Think not that the age of grace shall ever end, just a better understanding of his grace which births the kingdom age. For I tell you, verily, verily, I say unto all of you, those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. And all those who have the light on, uh, they are alive with him, love and one at, with him under no condemnation, no matter what they may or may not believe. His word is the unbreakable law of the everlasting gospel of the everlasting covenant of Jeremiah 31. And so it's time to uh, for the Jubilee of Jubilees, the celebration to begin. So it's time that we all need to please our Lord by reverencing him, by living godly, by studying his heaven-sent signs and wonders and writings uh, such as the dove, and by following after his word of praise as being something that is a reliable truth that will cause all of those thirsting to leave their dried out reservoirs behind and stop being like empty wells. Let the bottomless ocean of his love for you fill up your empty wells this day. And then such, a, such exaltation of love happening in their own hearts 
helping them to ascend higher into love's most embracing enveloping presence that will incite their desires, set their wills aflame and enrapture their spirits into being an inferno of passionate love moving as a little child as they walk towards the fast streaming lights of living water that our Savior is giving unto all peoples. So love will move the saved uh, of uh, lovelessness, all those born of spiritual bigotry and racism, uh, to move, to go deeper, go out to the deep, that is where you will find him. And know that he is the priceless pearl of great reward, and he offers each of us a great wellspring of adoration that will always move the hearts of the enlightened so all of our falsehoods of love's ignorance can fall away because love only desires to love and so understand it's time to worship our father of lights our everlasting father but such would also by understanding his truth of the unconditionality of his love then you would be empowered to know the and have the ability to know that our Lord's deepest waters of his greatest sanctity and perfection of his greatest love's virtue are now alive and flowing unto all willing to receive it uh, from heaven's cistern into their souls because they are the chosen, they are the beloved, and they are all people who will love. And so let the light come unto us and let us reflect it back unto Elo Elohim for he is the unequivocable, he is the unquestionable and the conclusive, and he is the one decreed from time immemorial, our ancient of days, uh, that no men, he has decreed in this day, that no men need to have their spiritual thirst not quenched in this hour of his Elijah, one who comes forth feeding his house. He is the master meat because the, the milk has gone sour and it's made people have really bad spiritual breath, stinky, rotten, and it's rotting their teeth. So who will get their dentures out like me and chew on some meat for a while? Because we, it's time for the meat of the equality of love. And so it's time to realize that um, his waters of vitality are pouring. And if you won't believe that he's unveiling his truest truths because it is written all things would be restored if you won't believe that accursed are those drinking from such stagnant pools of ignorance in the world uh, they can never possibly be refreshed these are the days of the great restoration the days of the great restoration the refreshing is the time of the restitution of Acts 321, all three of those in one. And know that all ignoramuses mocking me are eager for poison instead of divine purity. Just turn the channel, it's so easy. For such silly reprobates live comfortably being parched. They just live as foolish drunkards and who discovers that wine alone satisfies them since they're used to living dehydrated with their heads pounding uh, the day after the least of their most festive stupors. And in this hour, the Lord is saying, don't receive the shit pie of Malachi 2 in your eye by not embracing that which glorifies his love. And so let the heavens and every host there now celebrate. Therefore, let the defenders and the sentinels of Zion, uh, let them now sound off as they announce a brand new time of his holy rapid waters rushing swiftly uh, and rapidly towards all those opening up the truth that uh, not all liquids are beneficial just because they're wet. So let the earth rejoice uh, during such a greater manifestation of his mercy from his overflowing grace, from the great white throne on high, as his loving people begin singing welcoming songs of the gratefulness while embracing the compassion of the Lord's utter willingness to open up all the floodgates of paradise's supply. Eden truly is ahead of us. 
and as a result, the living waters of our Lord of always are presently coming forth as living geysers, uh, blowing forth the climax of the ages, uh, uh, trying to get the attention of people about the Lord's greatest goodness. And so it's time that we need to stop being as dry wells. It's time to fill up and go deep, dive in. And if you can't swim, he will become the life preserver for you. He is the living one for all mankind.